coming back with a brand new album and was there any anticipation or fear? My fear was that we'd never... Thank you. Um, my fear was that we would never actually get to make another record and I'm just glad that we, we actually did it and put it out. So you didn't think you would actually get around to putting out an album? Well, it was looking pretty scary there for a while, honestly. Why, why was it not looking like you guys were going to put out an album? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, were you having difficulty... I think if we knew that, it never would have happened, so... Were you having difficulty getting new material together? Just having difficulty getting out of bed for a while. <laughs> all right. I think we've all been there, but for five years? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, what did you miss the most about... Much music. <laughs> Um, I understand that Interscope actually was tentative about rec even letting you guys record or make a new album. Is that is there any truth to that? I don't think so. I, Maybe I you remember, knew something we don't. I remember they were uh, pretty hesitant about the first demos we gave them. And why was that? Because they sucked. <laughs> it's good that you can admit that. What changed then? We stopped uh, sucking. <laughs> okay. Uh, did they lay down any rules? When, when you came back to them with more demos, like you've got to, you're not allowed to produce it yourselves this time, guys, or you got to use Rick again, anything like that? I think they strongly recommended that we not produce the album ourselves. <laughs> okay. Um, I've got the video, we're going to show a video for, we can call it in Canada, we call the video Hash Pipe in Canada, which is the proper... <laughs> proper name for the song. I understand in the States the, uh, the, the song is actually turned into a video about a cross-dressing skateboarder uh, because it's half pipe. How do you guys feel about that? Uh, who cares? You, you don't have, do you have an opinion on censorship, censorship in general? No. It seems to be helping us. That it's, <laughs> your censorship is helping you guys sell records. I think so, as near as I can tell. Uh, <laughs> um, the, the lyrics are actually, there's been a lot of confusion about the lyrics. I, I heard that the, there's the one lyric that's really confusing me, and maybe there's quite a few people who've been confused by this, obviously. Okay, I swipe, ass wipe, or ass wide, like W-I-D-E. Which one is it? It's open to interpretation. <laughs> Do you guys like it that the lyrics are kind of uh, conf confusing, like people can't quite get the lyrics sometimes? Yeah. <laughs> because you used to have to write away to get lyrics to find out what the songs are. Does it bother you that they're pretty much readily available on the internet? I don't think they're available. Uh, all the wrong lyrics are available on the internet, <laughs> exactly. which is kind of funny. <laughs> all right. Well, I want to take a look at the uh, hash pipe video. And we'll come back and we'll talk to you guys a little bit more. We got more audience questions. And uh, right now, hash pipe on my show. Patrick and Rivers right after the break. Don't go away. before the break and whose idea was it for the the sumo wrestling thing uh director marco siega how did you guys feel about that were you like oh we like sumo wrestlers yeah it was great it was like a it was like a two page like a one page treatment it was like sumo wrestlers running into each other we're like that's perfect and and what does that have to do with uh with with uh cross-dressing prostitutes nothing nothing <laughs> 
and that's the way you like it. A lot of the a lot of the women here could kind of identify with the video. No, we we were feeling like, yeah, I know how that feels. That's how. That's I terrible. Know. Well, you know, our fragile egos, not not too good. I like the video. What do you guys think of it? Did you get to? Do, were you fans of sumo wrestling? No. <laughs> Had you ever met a sumo wrestler? No. Well, what was it like meeting a sumo wrestler? I think I just met actors. I didn't really meet any sumo wrestlers. So they're not really sumo wrestlers? Well, no. No? Some of them are, but I didn't meet them. Oh, okay. It's tough to get like 40 sumo wrestlers together in Los Angeles for one day, considering they all live in Japan. Yes. And you'd need a special plane. <laughs> okay, I've got a, I've got a question from, from Roberto up there. First off, I'd like to say you guys are amazing. And uh, secondly, uh, I just wanted to know, what does it feel like to have a really devoted fan base, like everyone here? Feels great. Let's hear it, everyone. <laughs> Gratuitous applause. You guys like the noise, because you want to you use the noise to get out of the interview, right? <laughs> do you guys not like doing interviews? I like doing interviews. You do? Do you like doing interviews? No. <laughs> do you not like being asked questions about yourself or about the music? Right. Yeah. I, I, I like listening rather than talking. That's all right. Is that, is that the worst part of, of being in a popular band? Yeah. That's all right. That's cool. That's fine. This is just my job. I got to ask questions, you know. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of positivity on the new album. <laughs> um, and don't start. Just don't start laughing because I won't stop laughing. Okay, I'm not going to laugh. Okay. Nobody laugh. Um, I, I like that there's a lot of positivity on the new album in terms of before there was all these songs about, you know, hopeless, uh, no unrequited love. And now... There's songs like Photograph and, uh, you know, talking about go out and get it, do it. Where did this attitude change come from? I think I was just trying to uh, give myself some encouragement to come back and make a record. So that's why I wrote that song. But did you have any experiences in, in the past four or five years that, that helped you change your attitude towards love? Just a lot of bad luck. And then uh, <laughs> I realized if nobody else was going to cheer me up, so I had to do it myself. I've got, a, I've got a question from Phil right now. Where did Phil go? There he is. Hi, guys. Um, I was just wondering, with the uh, success of the new album, do you maybe have a newfound confidence to go back to the lyrical and musical style of Pinkerton, maybe start singing about Japanese girls and lesbians, or <laughs> Japanese lesbians? No. <laughs> Shucks. Um, I just have a couple more questions. Do you, uh, w with the Pinkerton thing, I know you went back to the first producer you used, Rick uh, Okasek. Is that how you pronounce it, Okasek? I don't think so. Okasek? Rick Okasek. Oh, Okasek. Um, do you guys have any plans to try and produce stuff again your yourself? Mind. I'm sorry, I was, Rivers was talking. No, I, I think, I think we've been, uh, I don't think we're going to produce it anytime soon. No, but, but was it a, an experience that you enjoyed? Um, yeah, it's fun. I mean, because cause there's nobody there giving, giving you their opinion and arguing with you. But at the end of the day, I think it's good to have somebody else's opinion. It's good. Well, thank you so much for coming in. We're going to check out a video that people outside were uh, asking for. Say it ain't so. <laughs> and uh, if you feel free to uh, go say hi to some people outside if you want. They've been waiting. Thank you so much for coming in. Really nice to meet you. Thanks, Patrick. Thank you, Rivers. You're welcome.